Affinity Photo has a great tool, very similar to Photoshop's Content Aware. It's called InPainting. So here's a classic example here where we've got electric lines running across both the sky, roof, some trees. This can be cloned out, but it's just so effortless with a tool like InPainting. So I'm just going to take this image and I'm just going to uh, edit it in Affinity Photo. There's actually two different in-painting tools. There's the in-painting brush tool right here with the little circle on the brush. And then you can select an area and fill it with the in-painting fill tool. But for something simple like this, just going to show you how quick it is. But the in-painting brush tool, I use the uh, square bracket keys to vary the size. It can be done while you're moving it. So I'm just going to go right over top. Just draw this section. Perfectly blended. Just go across the middle here. As you can see, it's pretty effortless, pretty quick. Got a little bit of a grid work there. That's not too bad. And hitting the edge works well. So sometimes you might want to go in and clone some areas. We'll carry right on across here. Let's go back to the impainting brush. Just going to go across the roof line first. Work my way up to the tree. And we'll just see how it goes here. Sometimes it's okay. Make my brush a little bit smaller. But you get the point anyway. Cloning tool works great, but this is just so fast. And of course that one up at the top, I'm just going to make the brush a little bit bigger. One big swipe. And there we go. Everything cleaned up. And I'll just save that back into Lightroom. It's done a really nice job. There's the before and the after. Clone brush works, and painting brush is better. Quite often I have to deal with images like this. The perspective has to be corrected. I'll just go to my develop module. So after I've done some basic corrections then I want to go to my lens correction. So this straightens it all relatively nice. This one I'm going to have to do some manual work on. So I don't want the top chopped off there, so I'll just pull the scale back. And we can see the tops there. Of course, there's a hunk of sky missing. So once I've done those perspective corrections, then I want to edit this in Affinity Photo. And this time we're going to use the InPaint Fill tool. So a selection is made of an area. And then you go to Edit, Fill, select InPainting, and Apply. I'm going to go down this side here, see what I get, had it, fill, in painting, apply. Good. So the main thing I want is just uh, some sky filled in. Uh, this dark area here, sometimes I just find it a little bit easier to use the in painting brush because it can select a smaller area. I'll just try it here. Yeah, that takes it out nice. I'm going to just do this top area.
Perfect. And then I'll save that back into Lightroom. And then I can just do my normal cropping. That'll suit. So our original and the final. And I'll just run through these. You can see the way that I was able to clean things up. This content's fairly easy, I guess, because it's a, a solid area, but this is what the original shot was like. You can see a mic stand, a sign that I decided I didn't want. We've got a head down here in the foreground, a tripod, and literally within just a couple minutes or less, this is what I got out of it, along with a little bit of cloning, but mostly from the from the brush. And I'll just show you how effortlessly that worked. Just use the M painting brush to clean up a couple little areas like this, and that, and here. Take the strings out. I decided not to put the lights in there. And the original shot I just did with this brush, but I'm going to try the selection, the fill, in painting fill tool. Because it's just a little bit quicker. That's really quite amazing though, isn't it? Excellent. Managed to keep some some of the folds in the blinds. So anyway, I'll just close that one out. This shot, notice the mic stand running through here. But then I also cleaned up these mic stands, a little bit of area back there just improves the picture so much. That was all done with the in painting tool in literally just a couple of minutes. Same thing here, this was a nice easy one. So here's the original, got a mic stand tucked in, a little bit of a mic here. Same thing, just cleans it up. This uh, extra light over here too. Okay, we showed you that one. Here, there's a perfect shot, and in the original, just that stand, which I couldn't find an angle to get rid of it. It uh, was in the way. A few seconds within painting tool, it's gone. This shot, I, I saw this couple kissing or getting clo their close, heads close in the foreground with the backlighting. It was just gorgeous. And uh, so this, this musician, he's actually using this shot. He likes it. So it was at a folk festival and here's the original and so I really didn't want that sign in there to make it a cool shot plus we've got a mic stand sticking out of the the head of the girl here so just a little bit of cleanup and we've got a really cool shot same with this shot really great shot but so we've got a mic stand sticking straight up here look at the difference just taking it out does affinity photo is the new Photoshop replacement. And one thing that it does exceedingly well at is with its healing brushes, spot brushes, in painting brushes, in taking content out without a whole lot of work. Fine hairs, uh, the little red veins in eyes, it can just go in in seconds and does a beautiful job, almost magical job of cleaning those up.